Hi, my name is Jeff Simons. Uh, I was third at the Ironman 70.3 World Championships last year. And in 2010, I did the Oliver Hap Ironman here and ended up finishing in three hours and 59 minutes and was second behind uh, Canadian Olympian Paul Tischler. I think he finished in 358. So we had quite the epic battle and he got the best of me. But I'm here to give you a few of my tips for the course and specifically the bike course. I'm also here just to show you how awesome the course is, how beautiful it is and for you to check it out. So anyways, we're gonna go for a swim and we'll come back and give you a few more So tips. the swim start is uh, one big triangle. You're gonna go out here, it's a, um, not a deep water start, you're gonna be standing, but there won't be running. You'll jump in and go. Uh, I saw my coach, Kevin Kutcher, he was really successful. He took the far line one year and had no traffic and was able to swim straight. A lot of the fast swimmers will start on the inside a bit because that's how you can swim tangents. Um, but yeah, it'll be a big triangle. It'll come back in and uh, you'll be running up the beach here. When you hit the beach, you really want to think about staying calm, staying relaxed, getting that heart rate down. It's usually uh, the most intense part of the race. Your heart rate's usually the highest. Everyone's cheering, so you really want to focus on staying calm. You're going to run up the beach there and you're going to go up on your way. So here's another uh, a tip for the swim. This was given to me by uh, Ironman champion Tom Evans. That swim races, or open water swims, they always go up really fast. You want to be sprinting out the gates, that way you're going to get on the fast feet as opposed to having you being the one towing everyone behind you. So this is something you want to practice by doing speed work in the pool. He's recommended I always do two all out 25 meter sprints in every session and that's going to get you able to have that gear to not only go hard at the start but to recover from that and still do well in the race. Just rolling out here. This will be where you're running to the uh, the first transition. Pretty pandemonium. People will be cheering everywhere. Probably won't remember this too much. A good tip is to make sure that you take off uh, your wetsuit before you start this run. The run is probably about 600 meters, so you're gonna find that uh, it's a lot easier to do the running when you're not covered in neoprene. And you'll find not only will you be uh, faster, but you'll also be a lot more relaxed, a lot more comfortable, and uh, yeah, a lot more fresh to go when you hit the bikes. Turn down here. Roll through. Once you hit this point, that's when you start running through your transition routine because you're going to cross over. Transition is going to be just on that field over there. You want to be thinking about what you're going to think about so that way when you hit the bikes, you're all ready to go. Get into that routine and head out as smoothly as possible.